Apparently, David Sweat is beginning to talk to authorities, saying that Joyce Mitchell was going to pick them up. And this is the value of having someone that is alive, because they are going to be able to add and fill in the pieces. And also saying at the same point of time that he and David, he and the other inmate were together up until about five days ago, Richard Matt, until uh, Richard Matt said that David Sweat was bogging him down, and so they separated. But that information then could be used in a court of law. Today, it's all about Gene Palmer, because that's a defendant that is expected to be here at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Now, last week's proceeding was continued to today because he has a brand new attorney. But he is the prison guard that has been charged with three felonies and one misdemeanor. Promoting prison contraband is the highest degree felony that he has. And that is because of bringing in, I say bringing in because he already made a statement to the New York State Police admitting that he did it. Pliers and, uh, and uh, other tools inside the prison for Matt and Sweat. And then also tampering with physical evidence, paintings that Matt and Sweat had given to him that he allegedly burned and buried after they both escaped. And then obviously uh, obstructing justice, that charge, because of everything that this has to do with. Now, this is a very low court. He has a brand new attorney out of Albany, William Dreyer. It'll be the first time that anybody gets to see him. But we will see how this case proceeds in light of the fact we now know that David Sweat is talking and may help or not help this defendant, Gene Palmer.